Welcome to PH Red TV. Today we are going to share a short overview about African swine fever. But before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the bell icon on to get you notified on my future uploads. ASF is a highly contagious hemorrhagic viral disease of domestic and wild pigs, which is responsible for serious economic and production losses. This transbinary animal disease can be spread by live or dead pigs, domestic or wild, and pork products. Furthermore, transmission can also occur via contaminated feed and fomites, such as shoes, clothes, vehicles, knives, and equipments, due to the high environmental resistance of ASF virus. Currently there is no approved vaccine for ASF. Prevention in countries free of the disease depends on implementation of appropriate import policies and biosecurity measures, ensuring infected live pigs and pork products are introduced into areas free of ASF during outbreaks and in affected countries. Classic sanitary measures may be employed including early detection and humane killing of animals with proper disposal of carcasses and waste, thorough cleansing and disinfection, zoning or compartmentalization and movement controls, surveillance and epidemiological investigation, strict biosecurity measures on farms. Historically, outbreaks have been reported in Africa and parts of Europe, South America, and the Caribbean. Since 2007 the disease has been reported in multiple countries across Africa, Asia, and Europe in both domestic and wild pigs. Clinical signs includes high fever of 40 to 42 degrees centigrade, loss of appetite, depression, lethargic sometimes refusal to stand or move, very unsteady when stood up. Discrete hemorrhages appear in the skin particularly on the ears and flanks. Group will huddle together and are usually shivering. Abnormal breathing, vomiting and or diarrhea with bloody discharge. Become cyanotic, blue-purple color, heavy discharge from eyes and nose, comatose state and death within a few days. Pigs that die early in an outbreak may not have any noticeable lesions, but as the disease progresses the lesions then are striking. Bright red hemorrhages in the lymph nodes, kidneys, heart, and linings of the body cavities are common findings. There may also be excess hemorrhagic fluid in the body cavities and gelatinous fluid in the lungs. The veterinarian will have to send samples to a laboratory specializes in ASF diagnosis. African swine fever is caused by the Aspergillaceae family of viruses, which are distinct from the viruses associated with classical swine fever. There are 22 known types of the ASF virus, allowing the epidemiological tracing of outbreaks to the source. The infection can be introduced to uninfected herds in a number of ways, such as the feeding of contaminated feed and contaminated food waste used to supplement feed, through the bites of soft-bodied ticks, lice and flies, through inoculation contaminated syringes and use of contaminated surgical equipment, and through the introduction of infected pigs to the herd. Transmission of the virus within the herd is generally through direct contact with infected bodily discharges, feces and vomit. There is no live or attenuated vaccine for the prevention of ASF. Therefore control of the virus is reliant on strict biosecurity. Do not feed domestic pigs food waste. Do not leave food waste exposed for wild swine species to access. Dispose of food waste properly. Do not take pig meat onto farms. All staff on farm should be inducted onto a strict program of equipment sanitization. Before and after contact with pigs, provide the means for staff and visitors to thoroughly sanitize their hands and equipment. Ensure that wild boar, warthogs and wild pigs, and materials potentially contaminated by such wild species do not come into contact with domestic pigs. Check infected regions before import of goods that could potentially be contaminated. Advise and educate people on the risks of bringing pork products from infected regions. To end our topic here's our key ideas about African swine fever. ASF is not a threat to human health as it is a non-zoonotic disease, that is, a disease of animals that does not infect humans. The meat of pigs and wild boar should always be prepared under hygienic conditions, just like all other raw meats, as it can also contain other pathogens. There is currently no vaccine or treatment available for this disease, and only prevention like biosecurity measures is the key to avoid outbreaks in your area. That's all for today, I hope you learned something new in today's topic. Thank you for stay tuning in, see you again soon here at PHRED TV.